Okay, so I sped this up. I think it's 600 percent, but nothing's really changed here with this. It's like the install is pretty standard. You just whiz through it and um, make your selections. It's still no options for dual boot. I don't care about that. I, I love the fact that it's total commitment. Um, fine with me. And so we just whiz through this. It goes, and I th it's pretty quick. It's a really, really quick installer. Um, I think it's four minutes, 30, this clocked in at. I don't know, you'll see it quick, but I mean, I didn't want to make you sit through the entire thing. There's nothing additional to be gained here, but I just wanted to show you that this is what I did really with it. So here we go, blitzing through. Now, it's quite funny when I did this. I'm recording this after I did the installation. And um, yeah, there was a few interesting things. They changed a lot. I mean, I know they've changed key binding and stuff, but there's some other bits inside that changed and threw me slightly, as you'll see. And I had to tweak some of my scripts. And I'm glad this, I'm glad, I, I'm probably going to say this again. I'm actually really glad I did this because there might be a few people complaining. That was pretty quick. Well, not really. Four minutes. Anyway, so now you would be booting in and then password. I'm in 1080p here because I'm, I'm sort of doing it on a recorder unit. And then do your update. Download the updates. Not as many as it was before, but it, yeah, it's quite a lot. I mean, in it was quite a small, small update in comparison on Sunday when they did this. But yeah, so that's it. Pretty much done. Very quick. Nothing new. Um, that I don't remember that coming up in the top right hand corner. But anyway, that's fine. So yeah, reboot. 